Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to uh, start using my new art journal book. This is from Jane Davenport. Uh, it's uh, a canvas uh, book. Uh, the cover is made from canvas and one of her uh, designs, which is an abstract one. There is also one uh, that doesn't have a cover or uh, another girl uh, as a design. The pages are very thick. I hope you can see it. Uh, they are uh, watercolor papers, uh, so it's expected to be thick. And uh, it's the first time I will use it. I feel it's so precious. Uh, so there's a lot of pressure on me not to make a mess. Today I'm going to use my Ising uh, inks. Uh, they are pigment inks uh, and I love them. So vibrant colors and a little bit shimmer to them. Or there are ones that are uh, neon colors. As you see, I have a, a transparent uh, book cover for my uh, journal because I don't want to ruin the uh, canvas design, uh, the cover. And uh, also I'm putting uh, these uh, magazine pages back and forth to protect the other uh, pages. I'm being extra careful on this journal because I really don't want to mess up uh, the general look of it. I uh, dropped some of my ink on my pages and I'm going to apply with my uh, brush. Uh, somehow the dropper uh, doesn't work, uh, so I will just pour it from the bottle. Uh, and as you see, the color is a neon one, uh, it's a pink neon color. Uh, it looks very lovely, it's very out of my uh, comfort zone. I don't use neon colors uh, normally, I think I did only one more page. Uh, before this so it, I find it very intimidating and hard to combine colors uh, so I don't prefer you will find all the colors I'm using down below at the description area as well as uh, the rest of supplies at this moment of time I am completely uncomfortable because uh, somehow the colors don't match and uh, I am having difficulty spreading the color as well um, and also it's a bit uh, more transparent than I uh, wanted so I will keep uh, building the layers I don't give up yet uh, I started using the purple as well I'm blending them together and I used my fingers just to have a bit more uh, saturated uh, color it's one of these cases that I want to show you something that looks like a mess can turn into something beautiful I decided to dry the, this first layer and I will just keep adding uh, more and more and I decided to uh, stick to two colors only this neon pink and my purple color and at the same time uh, at this stage I am also thinking in my mind which other color can I use on top for my focal points that it combines with these because this is such a strong background color uh, that there is not much place to play and uh, always you will see black and white uh, comes to the rescue uh, because they combine with everything and uh, also pop themselves off uh, of any background and also let the background uh, to shine as well while I'm talking uh, here I, I'm calming down because I see that the purple uh, combines well with the pink and also as I build the colors they start uh, looking much nicer uh, so I keep going and going as usual the best policy is to build uh, slowly uh, when you see it doesn't work I go more or you can always cover uh, the designs you don't like with gesso or other paint so it's never uh, the end of the world so I think I'm happy with my background and it's dry and now I'm going to use one of the favorite things uh, I like to do. I'm going to tear uh, my pages to create a border. Uh, I'm just using my uh, ruler. Uh, it allows me to do it neatly. So I will do it uh, all across the page. For this you need to leave a page before and after empty, just to remind. And uh, I'm using this scrapbook paper uh, that I bought from my local store probably. 
um, it has music notes on it with black and white so I thought uh, it would uh, really uh, make a nice contrast with my neon colors and uh, allow both uh, to shine uh, both the border would be visible and also my background so I'm just uh, cutting my pa uh, paper and uh, sticking it uh, all around the borders I'm using my matte medium from Liquitex Here it is, I quite like how it looks. Uh, just to get rid of these white uh, edges, I'm using my Distress Ink in black suit uh, my, and my finger dabber just to go around the edges and uh, make them black. Now it's time to stick my pages. I will do some background stamping using this Prima stamp set. I took uh, one of these circle stamps uh, just as a background image. It has music notes uh, again, so it goes well with my uh, concept of music notes that I did on the border. And it sticks to my hand uh, actually, so I didn't need a, a stamping block. And I'm using my archival ink uh, for it to be permanent. This is one of my new stamp sets, it's uh, again uh, by Jane Davenport one of her face stamps and since I started to journal in Jane Davenport uh, art journal uh, I decided to go with uh, her other products uh, this is a type of stamp that you build the face yourself uh, I really like the idea there is a face, there are different eyes, different noses and different uh, lips so I chose the eyes that are closed and I chose one of the noses and uh, lips. Uh, I'm sorry, I really forgot to press the record button when I was stamping them. But uh, you will see the stamp yourself. Again, I put it down below. Uh, and it's really easy to do. You just choose either one according to what you want to create and uh, stamp it. I drew the neck myself. Uh, and uh, I'm just uh, covering uh, the page with gesso so that I can give color. You will see I will give a really abstract uh, imaginary color to the face. I'm not going to uh, work on giving color or uh, a realistic uh, face color. color my face I'm using my Neo Color 2 Karandash crayons. These uh, crayons uh, move with water, react with water. Uh, so I'm only uh, going around the edges of the face, uh, the borders and uh, giving color where I need a shadow. And I will move the color you will see with my uh, water brush 
uh, to the center of the face. This way I will have a shadow and highlight uh, automatically. I went with a lavender color uh, because uh, I added purple to my background. This will make my page look more cohesive. I'm making her uh, eyelids uh, more purple to make it look like makeup and also I'm giving her purple cheeks. Now it's the fun part. You see my die cuts uh, that I keep in this little envelope uh, from the things that I cut uh, back in time I don't even remember so I keep them uh, ready to be used in uh, some projects uh, when I want I will try to give the links down below to the die cuts that I'm using but uh, there might be ones that I can't find uh, or remember which ones are they uh, so I'm going to make a big pile of a sort of a hat on my girl's uh, head uh, consisting of different different things flowers, butterflies, feathers, uh, branches, um, leaves uh, many things together to create an interesting look basically so I took out from my magic envelope uh, all the things that I might use uh, so I'm trying here and seeing uh, what uh, can be good to look together and uh, I used my Martha Stewart uh, butterflies punch as well to create smaller butterflies. After I am happy with all this organization, I will take a picture of this with my phone. Uh, just not to forget uh, when I am putting them back, uh, sticking them. Now I'm going to give some color to these pieces because uh, they are too white if uh, I stick them all together white. So I'm doing a simple black splashes uh, on some of them, not all. I chose actually the big pieces to, the, to do these splashes because it will be more visible. I'm using my Ecoline uh, ink, black ink, but you can use whatever, uh, watered down acrylic paints, uh, etc. Now I'm going around these uh, big pieces with my archival ink and my finger dabber just to give them uh, some definition and uh, also to make them more interesting. And here is the result as you will see uh, I made some pieces fully black and left some pieces uh, fully white as well this gives a nice variety of colors uh, enough uh, to make it interesting um, and uh, now I decided to do some uh, stencil work to add some texture to my page and also add some white to make a balance this is one of my uh, favorite stencils by crafters workshop and I'm using my modeling paste and uh, for my sentiments I chose words uh, that could be a definition of this uh, beautiful woman on my page. So I chose beauty, attitude and strength. And uh, I decided to place them inside these little balls uh, with music notes actually. So I'm missing one. Uh, I will uh, stamp one more and uh, place the other word inside it. And lastly I'm doing some black splashes as well to bring everything together. Uh, I'm covering the face of my girl uh, not to have black splashes on her. 
and here is the end of a tough uh, journey it started hard with these uh, neon colors that I wanted to explore uh, but eventually I think it turned out really well I hope you like it too if you do don't forget to give me thumbs up down below leave comments or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that's how I know you like my work and uh, I continue doing it Thanks for all your lovely comments, uh, likes and watching my videos. If you want to find me on Instagram, I use blending colors uh, as my name. Thanks for watching and see you next time.